Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball with Head Coach J.R.T. presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers and also Champagne Beverage. The Lions were on the road this past weekend in Natchitoches, Louisiana to take on the Northwestern State Demons. Let's go out and check out the Friday night highlights. Here we go, Friday night in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Good pitchers do. The guy was throwing really well, but you can see we do a good job right here. Harry Slade does a good job hitting that ball through that hole. Ben Hernandez bunts him over. Good job by Ben. Productive out. Harry at second base. Brock Eber drives that ball right field. Good job base running by Harry Slade. Coach Rod sending him. Lions draw first blood, jump on the board, one nothing. Good job of Brock Hunt second base as well. Jonathan Pace, fastball away. Just gets by him. Joseph Kuhn getting a start. Andre Chutor, a normal Friday night guy, a little injury on his finger. He has to sit out this game, and Joseph Kuhn gets the nod. You can see they get a little single to left field for a single, a little bloop single, and they bunt him over, taking a play out of the Lions playbook. Sack him over, and just like our half, they do a good job, two outs, ball gets by JP at first base, and they tie it up at one. That pitcher was really good this night. You can see he gets Fisher to chase that ball way out of strike zone for strike three. Joseph Kuhn, strike three. Boy, the umpire was really giving some, something off that plate. Real big strike zone tonight. Another strike three. Mad at that bat. As you can see, mad at that bat, punishing it. Turn it over to Greenleaf, and then, you know, we've got to do a better job coming out of the pen. The first guy you face sets the tone. Greenleaf didn't do a good job. Throws the first pitch, wild pitch. Scores a run. Got to come in with a better mindset here. Little comebacker. Feels the position. Good job by Fisher. Good job of Greenleaf getting the guy out. Northwestern goes on to take the first game 5-1. to one. Goggler 2-4 for four for the Lions. Coach, tough loss on Friday night, and uh, kind of the storyline, Andre Chatur did not throw in this one. You went with Joseph Kuhn on the mound. Yeah, Andre hurt himself. I uh, hurt his finger in practice, wasn't able to throw him. We really miss him. I tell you what, he's been dynamite for us on Friday night, setting the tone for the weekend. You know, but we didn't swing the bats well Friday. We got to do a better job putting pressure on the other team. We didn't do that on Friday. Well, Coach, one thing that's been impressive about your ball club all year long is they don't stay down. And the fact that you have not lost three games in a row the whole season, your team bounces back well. And let's check out how those highlights went on Saturday at Northwestern State. Here we go on a Saturday, another beautiful day in Louisiana. And Natchitoches and Jordan Hemel getting a start. Jordan's a great guy you want on that mound. Great tempo, great mentality. Gets a little get on the hands, gets a little bloop to third base, make a nice play. Cody Gagler. Little HBP getting down to first base. Good job by Gaga. Seeing Coach down there with his hard hat. Lad Rhodes hit that big hop on a hit and run. Good productive out, getting the guy to second base. Good job by Lad hitting that hit and run on the ground. Sam Roberson does a great job. Two outs, run to second base. Laces a single up the middle. Gaga comes in, scores. And good job base running by Sam. Hunting that next base, getting to second base. That's a great job. You're going to see a lot of Sam Roberson. The Southeast and true freshmen get some good play in time for us this year. Good job of hitting and squeeze that ball right down that line for a home run. They tie us up at one. Email makes a nice pitch. A Bear testing over there at Jonathan Pace. JP makes a nice pick out of the dirt for the third out. Fastball away, strike three on Ben Hernandez. But Email stays in control. It's a high pop up to that left side. Hoffman rounds it, makes a play. Rock Aber getting the lines going. Singles through that left side. That's the guy you want on base with that speed. One of the nation's best base stealers, and there he goes. Steals another bag. I'll tell you, he changed the game with that speed. Jonathan Pace, good job, Pace driving that ball right side. Putting runs at first and third. Good job by JP. Getting the second base on that throw. That's what we, that's when we're really good. When our base runners are hunting that next base, that's when our offense goes. And Cody Geiger hits his ball deep right field. Productive out. Scores a bat from third base. Not quite deep enough to score to uh, advance the guy from second, but it's deep enough to score a bat. Lions get back on, take that lead. 
Email stays in control, gets that pop up to A Bear. Yep, there it is. Third out. Jordan pulled his hamstring here, had to come out. As you see, Kerry B doing a great job getting him ready. Going to ice it up. My move, get him some love. Turn it over to Dylan Hills. I tell you, Dylan did a great job. He only gave up one hit. Did a great job. And this was the only hit he gave up. They hit the ball in the left center field gap. But after that, it was the Dylan Hills show. He absolutely dominated from there on out. Gets the double, no outs. Put on a little pickoff play, a little bad base runner, but great pickoff by Dylan Hills. And Ben Hernandez picks him off. Gets the first out at second base. That was huge right there, a big part of the game. Brag Bear once again crushes that ball on the left side. Good job, A Bear. Swung it well all weekend. Lad Rose, little HBP. Got to teach Lad how to stay in there a little bit tougher. HBP, though, nevertheless, gets on on him. Base is drunk, scores a run. Here we started adding on, putting pressure on him. Ball four, ball's inside. Sam Roberson, good job of hitting by the true freshman. Lays off of that. Walks in another run. With Dylan Hills on the mound, that's all we needed. Dylan was really good. Got it to Stephen Lopez. As my favorite Catalano likes to say, when you get a ball to Lopez, game over. Stephen just comes in and absolutely just obliviates their hitters, blows it right by him. You see Johnny P in the stands, Johnny Pecorero, Hammond Flores. Strike three, game over, Lions win. Take Saturday's ball game by a score of four to two. See the box score here. Dylan Hills gets his seventh win on the year, improves to seven and two. A Bear was three for four with two runs scored. Dylan Hills, what a great out by Dylan and another save by Lopez. Coach, big victory on Saturday. Your club bounces back, gets a big victory. Uh, Dylan Hills was great out of the bullpen. Yeah, it was big on Saturday to get that win, to get a chance to win another series, especially on the road. And Jordan Hemel is the guy you want to start in that situation, pitch with a great mentality, hands it over to Hills, and boy, Dylan was lights out once again. Well, Coach, Stefan Lopez, I mean, it's just becoming – we talk about it every week. I mean, when you get to him at the end of the ball game, it's pretty much game over. It is. Steph has been dominant. He has 33 strikeouts and only three walks all season long, just dominating the opposing team. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the rubber match on game three right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach J.R.T. presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers and also Champagne Beverage. <laughs> 